My name is Brian Farm. I'm a staff engineer and I've been here almost 10 years. We lost Lois Tilt two years ago because the, the provider we were using at the time notified us that it was no longer going to be available and they changed the products that we could get access to. So at that time, we had already done some investigation into using raw NEXRAD weather data, and we decided that we could do it ourselves. We could get that data, we knew we could read it and parse it, we could produce our own lowest tilt. And we knew our users wanted it, so we went ahead with that. The radar is, instead of being an image, it comes to us as a set of shapes. And our processing code inside the app takes those, puts those on the map, and fills them in with color at the time they're being displayed on the screen. The classic radar is an image-based product. It's, it's supplied to us as images-based pixels, and they're already colored for us, essentially. And we put those on the map. The uh, lowest tilt is the first product that we developed entirely in-house from the raw data. And in the process, to also reduce the latency. So we worked really hard to reduce the processing time so that as soon as we get the raw data, we can ship that out to the users on the ForeFlight app. Those three types of radar, they all use the same source data, which is NEXRAD Doppler weather radar. It's the same radar that anyone would see on their local TV news or any weather app. So each of the NEXRAD weather stations scans 360 degrees around at different elevations above the horizon. And there are as many as 14 different scan angles, so they can look quite high. Lowest tilt is useful. That's the lowest one. It's a half a degree above the horizon, and that gives you the best sense of the intensity of the precipitation near the ground level. Lowest tilt is taking just that lowest one to give pilots flying at low elevations the best sense of what precipitation they're likely to encounter. The project I'm working on right now is removing some of the clutter. Uh, much of this next red data has artifacts in it, the ground returns, returns from windmills, um, various kinds of clutter. And the latest version I'm working on removes a lot of that clutter. So by accessing the data and processing it ourselves, we have a lot more leeway to process it, treat it, and present it in ways that make sense and are most useful for our customers. Having been in, involved in every step of the processing, from the raw data to the presentation on the map, I'm confident that the data maintains its accuracy all the way along that pipeline. So as accurate as the data is that we get from the National Weather Service, we are maintaining that accuracy in the product that we put out.